Today we have filters for images. Filters have some properties, for example, shift invariant, they can either have it or not, and linear in linearity. So shift invariant filters are such filters that no matter in which position on the image we are, filter behaves the same way. And the linear filters are represented by linear functions. Some more words about filters. There are low pass, low frequency path, it's blurring, high pass, high frequency pass, sharpen, and band pass filters. Linear shift invariant filters can be thought of as convolving with a, with a mask. For example, box filter is the same as convolving with a mask by some size we determine by M from, from this formula. And the box filter has have structure you can see on the left. For example, when we're in pixel that's in the center of the mask, we will average the neighboring pixels, actually eight of them. Another very important example of filters is Gaussian filter. It looks like a totally symmetric mountain. It works as a low pass filter. And uh, the point is because exponent takes x and y, make second power of them summates and makes the opposite sign of them means uh, it's a parabola with maximum in points zero zero as x and y farther from point zero zero the smaller f the value of the function will be but it's any time bigger than zero the bigger sigma the flatter gaussian function is the flatter this mountain is. Small sigma means bigger numbers in the center of a kernel and rapid fall of values away from the center. Big sigma function is distributed more or less equally. In general case, radius of the filter often equals sigma. For example, when we have sigma 1, we will use 3 by 3 kernel. And here on the this picture I have tried to draw, uh, I wanted to show you that the farther you go from the center, the smaller coefficient you produce. Now we come to the concept of the separability. If a smaller dimension versions of the filter produce the same result, filter is separable. So on the left you can see that 2D Gaussian kernel is separated into two 1D smaller versions of it. So uh, it will greatly reduce the computational burden. And on the right you can see the mathematical proof that it's actually possible. Two Gaussians, yeah, two Gaussian kernels, or just Gaussians, can be expressed as product of X and Y. And they are convolved. Among the advantages of the Gaussian filter, there are it's simple, sigma can be tuned. Gaussian filter preserves edges and gives more weight to the pixels than for their neighborhood. And among the disadvantages, the Gaussian filter is only good for small values of sigma uh, as it becomes hard to compute. It preserves edges, but still it's not very good at it. And the errors on the boundaries can occur. And another very simple filter, it's median filter. I have drawn here the image on top and the green is the kernel. So median filters moves across the image and it gathers on for each pixel nine pixels. One for the pixel itself and eight for its neighborhood. Values are sorted and for the pixel median for kernel is returned. 